Here is a great detailed look at a routing table. The routing table is what is going to be used by our router for the packet forwarding process. But how does the router populate the routing table? It has to do the path determination first. So we have the two functions in place. Determine the paths, put the best paths in the routing table, and then use the routing table to forward the packets. So our routing table is going to have many different sources of information. Let's start off with directly connected. So directly connected routes in the routing table are referring to the networks that are directly attached to a local router interface. So in this case, you can see we have the 10110 slash 24 network and it's directly connected to gigabit ethernet zero slash zero. We also have the 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network. It is directly connected to gigabit ethernet zero slash one. So how do we get these directly connected networks in our routing table? How do they even get in here? Well, it's as simple as this. I put an IP address on an interface and the interface is up, up. That's right. Two, two conditions must be met for a directly connected route to go in the routing table. Number one, put an IP address on an interface. Number two, the interface must be up, up. It's as simple as that. All right. So with that in mind, that in mind, is there going to be an entry in our routing table for the specific IP addresses of our interfaces locally? Yes. And that's what a local route is. So I want you to look at these local routes. Now we have 10.1.1.2. Is 10.1.1.2 within 10.1.1.0 slash 24? The answer to that is yes, it is. So that is an IP address that is within 10.1.1.0. Let's go down below. Is 192.168.10.1 within the 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network? Yes, it is. So these are the IP addresses configured locally on the Gig01 interface and the Gig00 interface. And you might be asking, why is that? Well, let me teach you how a router will process its routing table. It does it by what is known as the longest match rule. Longest match rule, very important concept. The longest match rule says this, start, with the longest subnet mask, when you're trying to decide what is the best information to use in this routing table. Okay, longest match rule. So what does that mean? It means that when I receive a packet, if that packet is destined to let's say 192.168.20.7, well then I look at all my slash 32 entries, then my 31 entries, then my 30 entries, then my 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. And I'm looking at all of them to try and see which one best matches 192.168.20.5, that packet I'm trying to forward. Well, in this case, it just happens to be 192.168.20.0 slash 24. So it had to check through the 32s, 31s, 30s, 29, 28, 27, until it got to the 24s. Fine. That's just the way it works. So here though, notice how we have these addresses of 10.1.1.2 and 192.168.10.1 with slash 32 masks. Those aren't the real subnet masks of those IP addresses. The real subnet masks of those IP addresses would be whatever we configured on the interface. And that would be what the directly connected network is. So if you look up 10.1.1.2 slash 32 and look right above that, you'll see 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Okay. So the real subnet mask of gigabit ethernet zero slash zero's interface is actually 10.1.1.2 slash 24. That's really what's configured on the interface. So why in the world did the router put a 32 in here? It's because of that lookup process. So let's say I have a packet that is destined to the router for management purposes. Let's say I said Telnet 10.1.1.2. Well, where's the destination? It is this router. So why make the router look at the 32s, the 31s, the 30s, the 29s, 28s, 27, 26, 25, 24s, just to realize, oh, this is for me, right? So these local routes are automatically put in the routing table with a slash 32, even if they're not slash 32s, as a slash 32. So any packet that's destined to the router will get processed right away.
right away. Right away. So if the router is the recipient of this packet and it's for management purposes, we don't have to go through that whole process of 32, 31, 30, 29, 28. It's just, boom, there it is. There's the entry. It's right at the top of the list. Let's go ahead and use it. You'll notice, though, the routing table doesn't order it via the longest match rule. No, that's not how it orders it. But that's the way it's going to be processed. That's the way it's going to be processed. All right, so that's our local routes and our directly connected routes. That is what is locally on us, both of those. Both of those. These are networks we know about, directly connected to us. They are part of us. 